to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Oh, what up, girl? What up? You look hot today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. What'd you What'd you do? Got my herded yeah. brush. Yeah, looks nice. Thanks. Um, who is it? Is it Kim that does that? Mm-hmm. Kim's one of your beef fries. She crushes it over there. She really does. She Killing did, the game. She did my blonde, and it's still still in there. Yeah. She, and she looking kills good. It. I know. She she killed it. She's great. Because I can't great. shave my head after the whole uh, summer Swayze thing, so I got to let this the, let the blonde grow out, right? But I like the ombre. Eh, I don't mind it. Looks I great. I like the ombre that you're doing. You know me. Yeah, Kim Monaghan. I mean, Monaghan, it, dude. It's Monaghan, but Monogs. Kim Monaghan. Kimmy Monogs. Now listen, I've got a quick question and a statement this morning. Ooh. Question. Was iTunes going to be gone? Was that a thing? iTunes is going to be gone. Do you remember when it was like the end of iTunes? And then it was like iTunes For is going to be gone. what? The end of iTunes. Do you remember that whole thing? Yes, I do. So what did that mean? Because I could still go to iTunes. I could still buy all the stuff. Absolutely nothing. Okay. so Absolutely nothing. Oh, right. Yeah. Because I keep being like, I guess when I press the button, yep. it won't be there no, anymore. it's still going to be there. Uh, what they're so doing what was is that? They're, they're switching the podcast out of there. So they're going to have a podcast app. So what companies are trying to do is make everything as complicated as absolutely possible. But wasn't with, that with a thing? With the new thing apps. I got to have like nine apps for my thing. HBO, right? Oh, I've got HBO Go. And then there's HBO Now. So we have both of those. Now there's going to be HBO Max. But if you already have HBO Now, it's gonna, you, you already get HBO Max for free. Yeah. Same with the iTunes thing, right? Oh, we're going to get rid of the, the iTunes. It's the iTunes on your like, desktop, I guess. But the app is going to be there. And there's, gonna, there's also a podcast app. Do you have the podcast app that's just podcast for iTunes? I, I don't know. I yeah. Mean- yeah there, there's 900 apps. Basically, everybody wants your information for every single thing that you do. So here's the advantage of having iTunes being separately from podcasts, right? That way they can tell who's listening to music and who's listening to oh, okay. podcasts so and steal all your information. Yeah. But the way that they did it was like Apple dumb. has officially decided to discontinue iTunes. Dumb. Music service is over. Yeah. Dumb. Do everything you need to do because it's done. Yeah. And it's then it's done. just still all there. It's still all there. And, you know, they okay. can't get rid of it's it. Kind of like you, Y2K for me. Yeah. If you bought shit on there, right, it still has to remain on there. So they can't just take that away from you because you bought it. Then they I was could get confused. sued for that. Whole thing is dumb. It was a while ago, but I don't know why I thought of it today. But like I went, right. I went to the iTunes again to like buy something and was like, "No, you're still here." Okay, still here. Yep. I keep waiting. <sighs> yeah. Again, it, f- it feels like Y2K where I'm like, okay. Yeah. But how could you ever possibly get rid of it? You can't. And now there's going to be another one for Apple. For their TV shows, you can get that. You can get that app. Um, What a Because what we want, what we want you to do is have 943 apps, and we want all of your info. And all you have to do is um, put in a eight-letter password, one symbol, four numbers, and then your grandmother's fucking sosh to get all the shit to work. And then they keep, yeah. Uh, And then after that, once you do get it to work. We're gonna, you know, what we're gonna do. We're gonna put up a picture. How many times do you see a traffic light in all ninety of these fucking pictures? Sorry, you didn't see the one in the far background in the middle of fucking Mexico on a goddamn desert road. You didn't get that one right, so we're gonna resend you back. Now we're gonna resend you back, but we're gonna use that ninth email that you haven't used since high school. Do you still have that? Great. We're gonna send you a sixteen-digit pin. So we want you to recoup that and go plug that into this other bullshit. It's like. Motherfucker, just jam it all in one. Call it Apple. Put music in there. Put your movies in there. Put everything in this fucking thing. HBO, same thing. Put all your shit under HBO. I don't need 90 different HBO apps for just the one goddamn thing that I use. Netflix makes it real simple for you. 
Hey, man, we've got original programs for movies and TV shows, plus all the old hits. We don't have 90 different apps for that. We have one, and it's called Netflix. Right. That's it. Um, so if you wonder how everybody's going to get lost in all of this shit, that's it right there. Right. Because everybody at home is asking the same question that you're asking right now of like, oh, I thought, I thought iTunes was going away, and you're pressing weird buttons, and I accidentally deleted my library because of it. Yeah. Uh, all the songs that I had Again, stolen it was a while ago. Over the years from LimeWire are now gone. Oh, LimeWire. Don't date yourself. But I, I'll save shit from my high school. I don't give a fuck. Remixes, yeah. you know, fuck tracks. Sure. Nobody calls them that, but, you know. Fight tracks. Fuck tracks, fight tracks, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then the statement that I want to make. Mm-hmm. That fucking dwarf is 16, dude. Oh, boy. Here we go. The Ukrainian dwarf is 16, no, man. I'm not and I it. feel bad. I'm not buying I it. I feel bad. I'm part of the problem. So we watched, part of the, problem we watched the Dr. Phil uh, special with the Ukrainian dwarf who got left alone at the house because she was a child, but really she was like 22 or 30 or we have no idea. 16. I'm not buying any of that bullshit. No. You are, though. The family's weird. Their whole fucking shit is yeah. weird. They're divorced. They have secrets and they have weird shit going on. So... Man. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Although between the family and her, mm -hmm. she's more credible at this point. No. In their testimonies. I'm not. I don't believe the dwarf. I do. I don't. You heard it here first because it will come out. So here's my here's my theory on this dwarf, right? Because now she's been adopted by some other family. Mm -hmm. Some other For weird ass family. Seven years she's been with them. Right. So this story is. Mm. Here's where, here's where I'm going to go with this, okay? It's a family that has adopted a bunch of kids, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and that's a noble thing, right? You do get money from the government when you adopt children. If you were going to do that, right? Mm -hmm. What better way than to say, hey, man, I heard about your dwarf shit that you went through, right? She is legally 22 or 30, though. Right. So I heard about your dwarf shit that you went through. Money. They don't get money for her. Hang on. I heard about your dwarf shit that you uh -huh. went through during that period of time because she's been with him for seven years, right? right? So that dates back before she was 18. Mm-mm. 22. She's 22 when now they is got, what you're saying? No, no. When they got her, they, her, they had the family before had re-aged her, remember, mm. to 22. So she and she cannot get it changed back. So right now she's been with them seven years. She's 29. Okay, right? she's 29 now on, on the books. Mm -hmm. Okay. But she is adopted by them? No, she, they took her in. Okay, they, they can't, took her you in. You can't adopt a 22-year-old person. Okay. So you, you, that's fine, too. Oh, they you took can, her in. I think, actually. They can. You can adopt I a, think you can. an older person. That's how uh, gay guys used to get around it back yeah. in the day. Well, I, I, I adopted you a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, uh, oh, um, yeah. So here's the thing, right? You're, 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 you're bringing in kids, you're adopting them, you get a lot of money for that. Uh, who better to watch those kids than a 30 year old? You have a, a permanent live in babysitter dwarf mm -hmm. that's going to be like, hey, man, we already know she's crazy, obviously, from the other families that have had her before. Uh, the, one, the first family, who was not part of the Dr. Phil thing, said that she tried to break their son's arm. Right. Because they were wrestling or whatever. Right. Come on, man. She's, that's what happens when a 30-year-old wrestles, wrestles with a 5-year-old. Yeah. And you, this thing started getting aggressive, and then you, you want to break their arm. Yeah, I don't she know. She seems violent. Uh, two, the next family adopts her, right? She's putting shit and food poisoning in there to kill him. The kids thought they were going to be killed. The family just got, got out of there, and they moved to a different country. Mm -hmm. You don't just pick up and move your family to a different country if shit isn't fucked up. Mm -hmm. Agreed? Uh, agreed, but I don't think that the dwarf was what was fucked up with them. What do you think it was? I think they were fucked up. So she had another kid, the lady had another kid that was special needs, uh -huh. autistic, and I think she it looked like she wrote a book. 
or whatever happened, she wrote a book. She was starting to get some kind of fame. They were traveling around, and she, the dwarf needed all these um, surgeries and lots of money and care with her scoliosis and everything that was happening. Like, uh-huh. she was degenerating. And I think these, this couple and this lady in particular did not want to be responsible monetarily or otherwise for this dwarf okay girl all right and i think that she's weird and they have their own fucking shit going on the dad's weird she's weird don't know why they're not together what's up with the other son yeah what's up with her book too many questions for me man what's up with her book but But you're supporting the dwarf i am you heard it here first hashtag support the dwarf yeah that's you heard it here first like i think (laughs) this crazy family I can't buy into this. That, that whole thing, man. I watched it. It was too weird. Uh, the cutaways to the, the, the woman gripping the dwarf's hand. Was a, there was a lot of those cutaways. Um, mm-hmm. Now, Dr. Phil is all in, too. He, yeah. believes, he believes the dwarf. And don't you think that Dr. Phil would have fucking gotten to the bottom of that bullshit? I, I do. I don't know. I do. He's been wrong in the past, so we'll see. With who? Look, the cash me outside girl, how about that? He was never on her side. Right. But he should have been. She is a gajillionaire now. And she is a rap superstar. And she won an American Music Award last year. And uh, maybe he should have been. Yeah. So. So. Uh, 0 for 1 in my book. Right. Dwarf. So you heard it here first. Nope. Uh, I think it's going to all come out. I, I am not supporting the dwarf. So they kept and this family kept going back and getting her bone density it was first 14 they said she was between like 8 and 14 which she was then it was like 14 16 which she was then it was like 14 again and so they had their family doctor right say that she the bone density was 22 after they tried all these different places that were like i don't know no no. i don't know just something stinks and my weirdo dar is going off more on the family than it is on her. Okay. Do you know what I mean? At this point. And the, the story was so unbelievable from the beginning. It's so fucking crazy that you're just like, what is going on here? And I'm just saying, <coughs> when you hear them both talk about the, the incident, your weirdo dar goes off more on the family th- and the dad, especially. I, th- I think you're wrapped up in the dwarf. Um, the dwarf is taking a hold of you and you're, you're in. I think, I think it's going to take you a few days, a few weeks away from this story mm-hmm. to realize that you were wrong in this. I remember when Making a Murderer came out, mm-hmm. you thought Stephen Avery was innocent. I mean, you still don't know. I, I, he's fucking you guilty. You do and you don't. Yeah, but like, yeah. So is the dwarf. So. Okay. Well, I don't think that. Well, I know you don't, Jesse, but I think this dwarf. Just saying. Do me a favor, guys. Watch the Dr. Phil, if you haven't already. <sighs> Tell me what you think. I think you're a good woman, Jesse. And mm-hmm. I, I'd hate to see. Uh, Your tone, like your condescending bullshit right now, has to stop. I hate to see. Like, a, it has to end. A bad dwarf take you you're down. You're mansplaining me. I, I, I'd hate to see a bad dwarf take you down. You've built up a great reputation amongst uh, our audience, mm-hmm. our listeners, the mm-hmm. community. I would hate to see a bad dwarf take you down is all I'm saying. Look, it's against, it's, it's bad for me to be believing the dwarf. <laughs> this whole time I was like, man, I've gone all in on this crazy bitch. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. And I can admit when I'm wrong. Some people can do that. And that's me, you know? <laughs> Jesse, I'll admit when I'm wrong, but uh, this So one... I just think I was wrong, Ooh. and I think I need to wait. I need more to come out. The family needs to go to court. I, things need to happen. I'm not going to, as I was before, because it was a great story. It was awesome. I went right down the hole, you know. I yeah. bought into all of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now that all the facts have come out, I need to uh, step back and just kind of see how this shakes out. And to be honest, I have no idea 
what the end result is going to be. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Like, I don't know. I, I was so sure. I was so sure. Yeah. I, that this crazy bitch, like, completely manipulated this family. And now... They're I'd, crazy. I'd, I'd hate to see They're this. They're nuts. Uh, they got some fucking shit going on, those two. I... All right, look, I, I'm not, I don't believe in the dwarf, obviously, but uh, I'd hate to see this. Never underestimate a housewife that gets a little bit of success. Yeah, but that story. And what she will sacrifice. Dwarfs in comparison to. Um, Blamo. What we're talking about. Um, <laughs> I won't stand for that kind of, those kind of puns. Oh, you won't? I, I will not stand. Okay. Okay. Um. That was kind of one, too, <laughs> but. That was a little bit of a pun, too. <laughs> Not as good as yours, obviously. Well, you know, we all can't, can't all be. be the best. Can't be the best. Uh, can't be the best. Uh, 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 your girl, by the way, I don't, you know, I don't often watch your show because I, I do consider it your show, the Today Show. Do you consider it my show? I do. Yeah. yeah I you mean, wake it's up with it every morning. like and, a uh, mom. I, uh, starts I, at seven. Well, here's the thing. When, when it's up. on. Like, you don't like Craig? You know, I Craig's it. not your boy. I no, mean, I, I, I do. I, what I'm here's the thing: they're all great and they're all happy and and awesome. And then they have to do political pieces occasionally. Yeah. And then you find out their true colors, and you're like, oh boy. Who? Who showed this? Savannah their- Guthrie this morning. Oh, what happened? I was really shocked. Um, she did an interview with Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley's got a book mm-hmm. coming out, and. Uh, she just went full Karen for an entire, it was a nine minute segment. And for those of you at, at home who don't know, you can't d- do that on a ABC, NBC, CBS. Like usually it's eight, seven fifty uh, around there. You like you go nine plus. Oh, okay. You usually got to cut away to ads. Right. Right. Um, if you're watching a half hour sitcom, uh, it's about 2130, including credits and commercials. Okay. So 21 minutes and 30 seconds. That's mm-hmm. kind of how it's broken up. So it's about seven minutes somewhere in there. She went like nine something and went, she was like, I'm, I know we're over, but I've got to have these questions answered. How do you work for somebody who lies all the time? And, and I was <laughs> just like, did she say that? Yeah. And everybody's been passing this clip around and uh, I ended up watching it in full because I had missed it. Um, they, I, I guess they put these political stories on earlier. Yeah. So, not to piss off the the house moms, is that what no, they do? No, so it's first hour, so seven to eight okay. is, is news? all Hardcore news, news, like actual news. Um, then eight to night, eight to nine is more lighthearted. You get Lighten a boost up. in there. They all sit around the round table together, blah blah blah. Okay, and then it's third hour, which is just a bunch of bullshit. Gotcha. Because they usually drive our son to school around the seven twenty ish range, so like yeah, so I don't get to see it. So when I came home. I was shocked to see her trending where I was like, oh, shit, I hope, hope nothing bad happened to her. And it turned out she was doing like a serious political piece mm-hmm. on this uh, on Nikki Haley. And I was I was surprised. Um, first of all, I didn't think a woman would go after another woman. Why not? Eh, eh. To get to that position, because mm-hmm. uh, Nikki Haley was an ambassador. It's a hard job. Um, y- you typically don't see women go after other women a lot like that. Right. Uh, usually it's vice versa. Like on the Biden piece. Mm-hmm. It was a woman going after a man and people were like, all right, fuck it, right? Uh, women don't typically go after women that hard. You are mistaken. That's what I wanted to ask you. Um, is this more prevalent no than I thought? Um, is what more prevalent? Women going after other women. Like I, I got the sense, and you can, by the way, feel free to correct me after this statement. I got the sense, or I get the sense, just based on the last three or four years, that women, it seems, are outspoken about helping other women, but then it doesn't really seem like that? Like, is that, what's, what's, the, what's the real answer here? Um, that feminists, mm-hmm. uh, women, and women that are feminist in particular, uh, are just like any other far, far left group in that you're okay with them if you are exactly how they want you to be. So feminists will go after 
Megyn Kelly will go after anyone that doesn't believe the things that they believe, mm -hmm. um, act the way that they want them to act, dress the way that they think that they should dress, to raise their children the way that they should be raising them, not be offensive, not say anything, then you're fucking cool. Otherwise, I mean, no one will tear down a woman m more and quicker than another woman, especially <laughs> at the same level. So who was the um, press lady that uh, we're trying Sarah to get Sanders on? Sarah Sanders Huckabee. Sarah Sanders Huckabee is... Or Sarah Huckabee Sanders, I think. Whatever. The prime example of other feminists, I'm doing air quotes, completely ripping her apart. Her appearance, uh, her family, her hair, her f everything. Yeah. Everything around her as a person, like the worst of the worst. I just thought it was like, girl, against, we should be helping each other, girl. And that's why we have to cont say that so much is because it's been so horrible uh, over time. And with the Trump, with this whole division, it's gotten even worse. So I really, I want to like pump women up and like build up other women unless you're unless you like trump or unless you're on the right or unless you're offensive in any way or unless you're you know what i mean I, i've never seen savannah guthrie get that heated before i mean she got fucking heated where mm -hmm. I, where she was she no, was going I mean, full karen a, the problem with no, it she's is she's a full-on uh she's a reporter uh a hardcore reporter from back in the day. She, the Today Show is her later in life thing, mm -hmm. but she started off as started a off and has been doing. And anytime there's a serious story, I mean, she did the debates. Like she is a very serious reporter. And so, if there were questions that she thought people wanted to know the answer to, whether she personally was asking or not, because as you know, if you're interviewing somebody. Everyone else has an idea of what they want you to ask them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone has an idea of how hard you how how hard they want you to go. Don't don't throw them softballs. You were batting them around like you didn't go for it hard. So she knows all of that. So I think when she has a certain person on and she's done it before, and she knows what the audience wants to know, she'll get the answer. Well, it's weird. And she whether Nikki Haley was not answering and she needed to fucking go harder, I'm not sure. But no, she is Nikki, the real fucking deal. Nikki Haley's brilliant. Where, yeah. look, she was ambassador to the U.S. If, like, she shot that down and was, is very calm. I mean, she's had, she's had to deal with every fucking dickhead in the world at this point. Uh, but Savannah knows, whether she agrees with it or not, she knows that people want to know these things. Do you know what I mean? She knows that people, majority of people that watch her show, don't like Trump, right? She's not an idiot. Like, she knows that. So she knows what they want her to say. I wonder, because that, that show to me seems so down the middle. that I, it, It's I, definitely not down the middle. I guess because I, I don't, look, I don't watch as much as you do probably, but, um, you know, it's usually it's pop culture NBC, and it's light and like, it's fucking Hoda and yeah. uh, Jenna Bush and, and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, you could, like, like Kellyanne Conway, right? There's somebody you could fucking bury. She's a goddamn idiot. Um, well, you can't do that to Nikki Haley. I would like, argue Nikki that gonna, she's not an idiot, but yeah. Nikki Haley's going to shut you down. Not an idiot. It's just the way she comes off with her answers. It's. I would argue that that's actually the brilliance of what she's of doing. Of Kellyanne Conway? Yeah. Maybe. I would argue that she is, actually knows exactly what she's doing, and she will weasel her way out of questions and make you look like the dumbass when, in fact, she is, right? Like, she's kind of this... Eh. I don't like to see her on screen. I'm not a big fan of hers. Um, Nobody likes to hear her on see her on screen. No one likes to hear they her. They get her on a lot of shit. I just don't. Uh, it's like, yeah. Th you, now, Nikki Haley, throw her up all day. Mm -hmm. uh, and Sarah Sanders is whip smart as well, where it's just yeah, like, definitely. put her on all day. Good luck with that. Definitely. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, it, it didn't go Savannah's way. And uh, people were like, hey, man, what were you expecting against Nikki Haley? Like, you're not going to. Again, it's still NBC. It's still left as moderate as they try and be. Mm -hmm. They are left. And so, again, she is lead anchor, her and Hoda. So 
They Hold definitely have a conversation up. about it first and say, this is what people want to know. This is how people want to see you go after her. Yeah. So do it. Um, next up, uh, Disney. The app dropped at midnight last night. People are going bug fuck. Oh, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what, is that? what does that mean? Everybody. What, what am I going to watch on there? Whew, what aren't you going to watch? Okay. I, so people were popping it open and doing like live videos and, and all that other stuff. And uh, man, I, I might have to pump in some more money into that stock. It, it, is, it seems to be endless on there. I mean, just absolutely endless. Where you can finally, and because we're going through this right now. And I'm sure there's a lot of families out there who are going through this where you can give your kid the remote and say, hey, man, you can literally watch everything and anything you want mm. on Disney. Um, because you can't be do it on YouTube right now. Mm -mm. And when, once I popped open YouTube, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, it, it was YouTube first because somebody, you know, everybody reviews shit like immediately and they were going through like what was available on there. I was like, oh, God damn it, dude. Mm -hmm. Now, this could change the game, whereas Apple, I did not think at all from day one. I was like, this is going to be a bust and a colossal failure. Disney, whew, good nights, man. Um, we are getting that as soon as we get home, and I'm, I'm all in on that. Once I saw that, it was late when I caught it, obviously, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but some somebody had a video, uh, you know, the how to video up on YouTube already of like, this is what's on Disney Plus. Oh my god! And I was like, oh boy, it's uh, it's every little kid thing that you've ever dreamed of in your entire life. And man, they're going hard. Also, uh, Verizon, you have Verizon. They're going to give it to you for free for a year, I believe. Okay. So look, we have I we have Verizon. Um, I get a lot of big games. Never look. I'm, I'm going to hold up the phone to camera here. Um, you can. This phone will never work. <laughs> they just saw you had a text message Ever. that you're now reading. <laughs> well, everybody's talking about the school board thing, but um, this phone will never work in big games um, no, or when no, I need no. it to. But if it gets me Disney Plus for a year, uh, I will keep it for one more year before I switch to AT and T and then back to. T-Mobile or oh, whatever okay. else it is with, with that. But uh, okay. I want to try it now because it, it, it looked impressive where I was just like, whoa. Uh, that, I've been wondering who's going to take on Netflix. Um, probably it. Because um, look, you know, the other thing they announced, and I wish they would have fucking told me this a week ago, literally one week ago. I just bought ESPN Plus. I had to because of that uh, Diaz fight. Um. Uh, Diaz Ma Masvidal mm -hmm. fight for uh, for UFC and they make you buy the plus and you know it's mm -hmm. five bucks a month or whatever it is. I had to buy it to access the fight. Disney is offering a package where you get same price as Netflix, but you get Disney Plus, you get Hulu, and you get ESPN Plus for fourteen ninety nine, same as what you're paying on Netflix. Okay. It's a monster bundle right there. That's a bundle. Um, because Disney owns e ESPN. Look, I watch <clears throat> a lot of UFC fights. Um, this could be gangbusters for Disney, man. So, yeah, it's a lot of shit. Uh, the Hulu thing is the only thing that I want to warn you on, though. They're saying that's in that part of the bundle. Mm -hmm. It's still going to come with ads. What, what the fuck is the deal with Hulu and that cheap shit? I still have the... I think I got the cheaper... Hulu, deal, so man. I still get ads on mine. Oh, whatever. What's the deal, Hulu? Yeah. Like, you can buy YouTube and get it without ads. What's the deal, Hulu? I know. Dirt bags. Nobody's really watching Hulu. Because they want you to pay 14 Yeah, but nobody's watching that shit. No. Nobody's, wa nobody's like, oh, man, I'm going to get home and fucking juice to Hulu real quick. Yeah. I'm going to juice to Hulu. Juice to Hulu? I'm going to think of my Handmaid's Tale. Oh. Is that Hulu? Uh, who knows? But, you I know, think so. George Clooney, massive movie star. There's a TV show there. That's almost like, huh? huh? If, Cl if Clooney does a TV show on Hulu, does anybody see it? No. Does, nope. Julie Roberts did one for Amazon Prime. I, I didn't see that either. Did you? I know, no, but it did win a bunch of awards. And I did guess, it? Yeah. Did you pop it on? No. 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 Uh, I know this. They I still Amazon still does not have a show that has over 1 million viewers. Still. Oof. Yeah, that Maisel one cracked it for a couple months. 
at like 1.1, 1.2, somewhere in there. Everything else under a million viewers. I, I don't know how. I don't know how this is going to compete. The only thing that I can possibly think of with all of this shit now, they're going to have to start buying at each other. And I feel like that is going to, in the next two to five years, that's, that's going to become the next big thing. I think Apple's going to realize it failed. Uh, I think Netflix is probably spending too much. They have a fuck ton of debt. Um, I know this, obviously, because we, we've had Netflix stock for years at this point. Don't have it anymore. But um, <clears throat> because... I don't know how many billions you can keep spending on original content. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love a lot of the shows that Netflix puts out. I love Netflix as, as a person, as a family. You love Netflix as a person? <laughs> yes. As a person, I do. Love Netflix. Oh, okay. As one singular person, if you had to say, hey, man, besides sports, take one channel with you. What is it? Yeah, yeah. Probably Netflix, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And then I go HBO 2. So as, as me, if, I, if I'm taking one fucking app to watch, it's that. And I'll mm. never get probably sick of whatever they're going to throw at me. Right. That's it. But they're, they're going to run out of money soon with this whole shit. So Netflix? somebody like Apple, yes, they're in massive debt. And they just keep borrowing billions and billions of dollars because they've got to pay for all this programming. It's a mm. lot. Uh, you know, Apple's rolling out their three, four shows. They're spending $13.5 on the Jennifer Aniston Netflix show. Netflix is probably like Fuck you guys, dude. Well, or they're saying, go ahead and spend that when the ratings are terrible. Yeah. And you've spent, because they spent $300 million on the Jennifer Aniston show. I think eventually so Apple looks at stupid. Netflix, mm -hmm. looks at their debt, and says, hey, man, how about we just buy you? I think Amazon starts to look at this other shit and says, hey, man, how about we start buying you as well? And then you're going to be down to like two channels. Because that's, that's kind of where we're at in life with everything else, right? If you look at it, uh, we've, we've, in this world, tech-wise, just tech-wise, we have Facebook, we have Google, we have Apple, Amazon. And that's kind of it right now. Mm -hmm. At Twitter. Twitter's on the edge of really teetering on the edge here. They're, they can't figure out how to get ads on there. It would not surprise me if Facebook eventually bought Twitter out and just said, fuck it. Like, let's just put that on our thing as well. I think you'll probably be, you'll be the same. You'll be down to four or five companies right. at that point. So this is just my prediction for the next three to five years with all of this shit. Um, yeah. But look, who knows? Uh, who knows? And our sponsors might be buying out this show. Oh, I know, Jamie. I know. Uh, <laughs> um. The sponsors might be buying up shows as well because that is happening. Um, we just had the, I just had this discussion with somebody else where you can start buying podcasts. Sp uh, certain sponsors are. Okay. And they are paying top dollar for them. I'm not going to say who uh, because Spotify would like this to not happen right now. And so would Luminary because they want to keep all the ad rev. Where... If you're a sponsor of a massive company, why wouldn't you buy out a podcast? If you're smart. If you're smart. You do. There is a couple out there. I'm not going to say what they are. But hypothetical, let's say you listen to a bunch of podcasts other than this one and Drinking Bros. I don't recommend it. No. But if you do, look at their logo. Their logo, uh, a few of these shows are now bordered. Um, and you can buy out the border. Uh, that means it is brought to you by... So and so. I'm not going to say who so and so is because one of them happens to be our sponsor uh, on another big show, but uh, that is where this is all headed, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're, I don't know, Natty Seltzer out there, mm -hmm. you want to buy out Drinking Bros podcast, probably be a great move for you. Probably be a great move because on the other flip side of this, I've gotten, fuck man, 30, 40 phone calls from businesses. Just businesses, boring businesses, but businesses saying, hey, man, how do we start a podcast for our business? Well, what do you want to talk about? Well, we want to talk about our business. Well, it's fucking boring, and you're not going to get a lot of listeners for that. But if you bought something else out and they promoted your business over and over again, probably some of the best advertising you could have. So look out for that to start happening as well. It, it already is. Again, not going to say which ones, but go through your podcast. Find... Just look at the picture, and if there is a sponsor on that picture, they are owned by that company, and that is a 
real nice payday. So again, Natty Seltzer, if you want to go ahead and buy out uh, Drinking Bros, I'm a big fan of your product. It's 6%. And people are getting rocked off of it. Uh, and for Jables, you know, if Brendan Fraser wants to buy out the show, he can just uh, put his little face on the logo. Boom, go ahead and do it. Because uh, where we're headed as a company is uh, putting all of our shows together. Um, we are all currently on the same YouTube channel now. We just started that a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Lost Patterson Revolution and Drinking Bros will be on there. Hopefully, Jesse will be doing a new show soon. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. I need uh, somebody to get their shit together, and you know who uh, who you are. Yeah, you know who you are. You know who you are. Get your shit together. Girl, we're playing with it. Huh? We're playing with you, girl. Um, but Ghostbed is a sponsor on both shows. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. That is why that URL exists. Uh, they sponsor both of them, and uh, obviously I host both of them. So we're all in on Ghostbed. Uh, I had a guy had a guy hit me up over the weekend. He was just like, yo, man. I, oh, it was uh, Dan's brother. Oh. It's Josh. And when he went, he, uh, we went to the Clemson game with us. Um, and he goes, hey, man, on the reels about the Ghostbed, like, I really own it. And it's the greatest mattress ever. And I was like, yeah. Josh, dude, I wouldn't fuck you on this. And he goes, man, I don't know. You do a podcast. You never know. And I was like, We're it's not too joking. much money yeah. to be like, hey, man, just go and buy this piece of shit. Like, I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, also, if you want to do the pay as you go program, you can do that too. 36 months. No interest. Fucking comes out to like 38 bucks a month. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and get on it. Get on it, Jabes. Get on it. And uh, if you're military first responder, you get 15% off everything in the store. The pillows, the mattresses, the adjustable bases. And uh, if you're a regular human like myself, their Black Friday deal is coming up. And it is sure to terrorize your hearts and your minds. Terrorize your hearts and your minds. Get a mattress for Christmas. Lay down a foot. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros today and do it. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Shaboinkers. Man, hopped up on the Strike Force today. Jared's in town doing a bunch of drinking bros shows, doing a bunch of content. Uh, he's sick. I finally beat my sickness. Like, And here comes little ago. Jared. So Bopping I'm on through. Back to my placebo. Kombucha and ginger and the other bullshit. I uh, put a little strike force in there to keep it going today because I know I'm going to get sick from that little dummy. Yeah. Not stoked about that. <clears throat> Four amazing flavors of strike force orange, lemon, a ridge, and make America grape again. No carbs, no sugars. Tasty 10, a little tin pouch. Rips open and squeezes into every liquid available. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com today. Get on the train. But here's this, the 750 milliliter bottles, too, by the for the camera. I made them in plastic now. So if you drop it, if you get fucked up and knock it off your shelf over the holidays, boom. You're not shattering it everywhere. Oh, the holidays. It's coming up, Jabes. Your Super Bowl's coming up. Oof. I am already nervous, planning. So I'm going to crossing things off the menu, adding things daily. I mean, it's really after the after the last sponsor, I'm going to tell you what I, what I got you for Christmas because I have to uh, one first gift. Uh, next up, we got straight razors dot com. James, this is Ooh, what they came for. That's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you like it? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Shaving That's Ukrainian fun. dwarfs bushes <laughs> for fun. 30 years. She's 30 years old, right? 16, yeah. She's fucking 30, 16, dude. 16, yeah. <clears throat> that is, uh, 16. Nope. It's a dwarf bush. Shaving a dwarf bush, dude, with a straight razor, trying to hide it, hiding periods from the parents and the whole thing. Um, we are a house divided. Hit, hit him in a closet, I guess. We are a house divided. Yeah, we're divided by dwarf. A dwarf divided us. It's not the first time. A dwarf divided us. Oh, we've been divided by plenty of other stories. Well, this one, 
This one's really. <laughs> Plenty of other stories. And <clears throat> you might view this as a little, a little thing, but it's not. Blame it's, uh, big, it's a big one. Ooh. Divided by dwarfs. Look, if you're a Ukrainian dwarf out there, apparently this is the most popular product they have for sneaking into America and living with a, an adult <laughs> family. It's a straight razor. No, but it is the best for the holidays. It is. They got a kit. Get your dad a kit. I, look, I've said this the last two years. Get your dad or your illegitimate father a kit. Say I love you. Um, and give them a kit. They can shave. They can put fucking shaving cream on, uh, cologne, you name it. Um, ooh, I forgot we have that prickly heat here, too. I'm going to put a little on my bowels later. Wow, cool. Yep. Just, um, uh, that was just a self-realization. I had nothing to yeah, do with sponsor. But, I feel uh, like sometimes you forget that we're doing a show. Uh, that's paid for by sponsors? Yeah, Maybe. well, just in general. And you might, and you just like say stuff sometimes. Yeah, because I, I cut it out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, oh, sure, that prickly yeah. heat needs to get on my bowels later. Right. We're in that time of year where, go to straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Razors, shaving, do it, bushes, legs. Come on, you guys know. Pits, if you're, clits, if you're, the jags. If you're new to this, you just learned. You just learned. Boom, you just got learned. If you're true to this, then you better just buy this uh, for the holidays. I popped on over here at the Prickly Heat that's in front of you. Um, that's uh, Snake Brand, Prickly Heat. Somebody sent that in from, what, China or something? Uh-huh, Rick Abend. Yes, uh, love, love, love Rick Abend. I use it because uh, it's sitting on the set. And uh, th- we're in that weird time down here where we've had some cold days. Sure. And all of a sudden, I left the house this morning, and I was like, "Ah, oh, shit, it's kind of muggy and warm for a day, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I went back into the house afterwards to grab something, and you've had the heat on, and you're like, you're sweating, and you're like, motherfucker, man, I'm going to need to GB up. I wasn't mm-hmm. expecting that in this type of weather today. Mm-hmm. But it was, it was cooler. Um, sure. My nethers were cooler. They Actually, weren't. by 3 o'clock today, it drops like off a cliff. It's like this crazy me? thing. Yeah. Are you fucking me, James? Yeah, so I know you're going out with a couple of your little friends. Are you fucking me, James? I'd wear a jacket. Oh, it's I will. Getting I down, one, actually. It's getting down to 31. No, tonight? Uh, it's Right, Jamie? It's falling off a cliff at like 2 or 3 wow. to 40s, and then it's goat. No it's way. Go down to I 31. am looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to have a, a chili cook-off here at the studio, by the way. For Ross Patterson Revolution and Drinking Bros, uh, I just announced, Dan and I, uh, on today's show, on Drinking Bros, that we are running for the New Hanover County School Board. Uh, we would like to meet you. We would like to host you um, at our offices, and uh, we're going to do some live shows. And then the winners will be on the shows. Um, we're going to do two shows. I can't wait to have your chili. This is my, not only is this my favorite time of year for you, mm-hmm. um, but it's for yourself as well. Right. Because um, you like to prove that you're the best. Uh-huh. And uh, I, want, I want a good chili out of you this year. Um, you had some difficulties last year. I want a good chili out of you. Why did I have difficulties? I don't know. I was out of town, and I get a call from you, and you were like, well, I'm going to the chili cook-off. And I was like, are you okay? Because you seem upset. And you're like, I don't know, man. My fucking chili sucks. That was your exact quote to me. And then I get a happy call. Two and a half hours later too, with a video, yes, that you would finish I second. I won second place, yeah. yeah. So it must not have been that bad, but I know what to do now. Okay. I had never made a fucking chili before, dude. Well. Not like that. Like all the fresh ingredients myself, crock potted it four hours, yeah. day before everything. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, man, I know. I know what, I'm, I, know what I need to do. I think probably Nick should be in this one too. Okay. Because he is a really worthy opponent and we yeah. kind of like help each other get to the next level okay well we'll have him over i uh i want to see your skills and hopefully you got better um because i don't want you to let our family down and our show right. our show yeah uh, we should let the people at home know that we are getting a new logo um so we listened to your voices we heard your cries mm. your screams your baby tears right your brethren right brethren we're, what, so what happened was everybody was like, hey, man, don't change the name of the show. It's plugged into everything. I understand that uh, and the back end and all that other shit and things we've sold and vice versa, right? So what we did was uh, we changed the, we're changing the logo. And we're putting Jesse's head on there. Yeah. Um, and then Jesse only will and probably Rossi's have not her, on it. her own show with a little girlfriend coming up soon. And, uh, and that'll be awesome as well. Why do you have to say it like that, dude? Just your little girlfriends, you know? Bro. Yeah. 
Just little girls doing little shows, doing little noodles. Um, so yeah, yeah. So you'll you'll the logo is dope. By the way, I'm really stoked yeah, about it. It's awesome. Um, uh, we're finishing the final touches on it now. That will be out shortly, probably be by, I'd say next Monday. It'll okay. be up in Adam, so cool. uh, it'll be up on on every avenue possible. Uh, and I teased this right before the sponsors, but I'm going to tell you now. Um, your Christmas gift because I have to. Okay. Um, you you wanted to smoke a turkey mm-hmm. for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. You also want to do it for Xmas mm-hmm. or some ribs or something possibly. Yeah, yeah, ribs. Yeah. So um, I am buying you the Traeger. What? So you will be able to do that. So start pre gaming now and pre planning and and all that stuff. Oh my god! Uh, uh, I don't. I don't. I'm not. It's no. pretty expensive, isn't it? Well, it's 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 Christmas, you know. So. Okay. Um, you know, we usually get each other a big gift. We don't go like I got some conflicting you, you messages. And, you and I, I as couples, I, yeah. we don't go like ninety gifts or anything like that. It's no, like, hey, it's let's just, just do something big, and yeah. then uh, whatever that is, that is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then some other smaller stuff, you know. Right. So I'm gonna get you that trigger, but but are you telling me not to get it now? No, I am. I mean, I got some conflicting messages about like other ones to go with, but. Which one? The green egg? Overwhelming. No, it's like Green Mountain something. Mm. Uh, But I don't know why, guys. But Traeger to me. Yeah, how do you go against a Traeger, dude? I don't know. So I'm. thank you. Uh, And I am going to hit you guys back up, the one people that um, told me what books to get and if you have tips on smoking and spices and stuff. So I will be hitting you up. If this does come true that I'm getting the smoker, you uh, I have that's, you guys all in my messages. So I will be hitting you up and thank you so much. I can't lie to you. Uh, I mean, that, that would be I mean, lying you to, have, like, not be lying told to me, 1. But, yeah. 1.8 million people too of like, oh, I'm going to buy you the smoker and then not get it. What are you going to tell a fake story about how you smoke this fake turkey? No, dude. I'm going to get you the fucking yeah. trigger. Come on. Well, you know, we'll see. So. <laughs> Uh, it's happening. It's going down. So enjoy. Okay, your, well, enjoy your life, dude. Enjoy your life because you're going to be getting awesome food. Because I hope so, um, because look, you get one shot at a turkey on Thanksgiving, <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> you really do. And if and you listen, beef that up, you can't go back, right? No, no, no. But I will say, um, I never like turkey in the oven, anyways. So really, what do I have to lose? Do you know what I'm saying? A turkey. But like the turkey, the turkey that we made last time, it's like you do everything that you can. You brine it. You like try and keep these juices in there. And no matter what you do, the fucking turkey is dry and flavorless. So the next step, and even when you fry it, same thing. So like the the best turkey that I've had that we've both had mm-hmm. at that barbecue place by your old parents' house. In Florida, yeah. Yeah. And one other time that somebody smoked a turkey. Do you was know the like, name of that place? Uh, Captain's, yeah, uh, Captain's Barbecue in way, Palm Coast. That is Florida. my favorite barbecue place that I've of ever been time. to in my entire life. It's uh, my stepdad, uh, Guy Fiere. Yep, went there, which is amazing. It's Fiere, right? Fiere, Fiere, yeah. yeah. Fiere, yeah. Sorry, Fiere, Fiere. Um, he went there. He went there. What did he say? What was his? He did like a diner's drive and dive there. It's amazing. Oh, yeah? It looks like a. A bait shop in the front, yes. and then they have the most amazing barbecue. Best and uh, sides, that, that is the best I've ever sauces, had. Sauces, yep. yeah. absolutely everything. But mm-hmm. anyway, they smoke a turkey. We had gotten it for Thanksgiving. Yes, one time we did. So that, and when we get the smoked turkey tacos and stuff there, that's the only time that I've ever liked turkey. Okay. Every other time, it's sort of this obligatory thing that you do on Thanksgiving. Yeah. But do you ever love the turkey? No. You put a bunch of gravy on it. You try and bring it back from the dead. Cranberry sauce was, you know, brought to the table in the very first place because of how fucking dry turkey is. Sure. So I want to change that. All right. I want people to actually like the turkey. Okay. Here we go. That's the goal, and we'll see what Here happens. Here we go, Jabes. So that is your your Xmas, your Malcolm Xmas gift. And uh, here's my you thing, though. A turk dog. Here's my thing, because it's just me cooking. No, my dad will help you. He's okay, a good cook. But who's gonna be? Oh my gosh, who's gonna be doing the sides and the other things? 
Who's yeah, going to be watching the turkey know. and drinking by there? Because someone needs to I'm be, be getting drunk. Someone needs to have, and that's why. I mean, I invited Dan because like he's my friend, I guess. But football's on. Yeah. I was like, I need you to drink by the smoker and help me with that, because that's the smoker is that's all it is. It's somebody that drinking dark liquor and checking on it and wetting the things. Okay, that's it all, all day. Right. All right. Dan kind of said he could do that job. I'm sure you two can do it together. Yeah, I can do that job. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can, uh, I can get drunk by a smoker. For right? Sure. And again, it's very specific. It has to be a dark liquor that we'll you're put, smoking. Uh, we'll put the TV out there, watch yeah. the game. I'm down. Ooh, we actually should get I know I'm down. So, I'll yeah. Do so, that's your guys' job so that I can be inside making all the other things. All right. But as far as the spice and what I'm wetting the things with and all of the other parts, that's me. All right, Dougie. You guys are literally just watching. Yeah. You're already angry, and we haven't even gotten there yet. I know. You already messed it up in my mind. You and Dan have already fucking ruined this. (laughs) You didn't read the notes I put up for you leading out to the smoker. No. You didn't keep your head in the game. You didn't stay focused. Yeah. Um, Yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hey. TI is canceled. Uh, You think so? TI is canceled (laughs) in my mind. Let's too chat. many things. Let's it's chat about this. Too many things. So Ti the rapper, Sucks uh, balls. aka <laughs> the uh, rubber band man. Wow, it is the Taliban hasn't been relevant in years. No, still somehow is hanging around. Well, that anyway. song with with Rihanna was just so massive. You know, hey, good for you. Spinning that paper, live live your life, dude. Was was massive. Anyways, he is getting into podcasting. Um, We'll tell this story now because it, it happened to us uh, before we get into this. So we fly out to interview Alex Jones for Drinker Bros. Uh, ended up hanging out there with him for like, I don't know, four six hours, whatever it was, right? And so afterwards, I'm sitting in a room with, with Alex, and he goes, uh, hey, you know, the, you know the rapper T.I.? Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, 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 why? And he goes, you know he's got a fucking podcast? And I was like... No, I didn't actually. And mm-hmm. he goes, it was, I guess it was just about to start, mm-hmm. right? And um, everybody's trying to get on the podcast train right now. And he goes, uh, yeah, man, I just did his podcast. Fucking weird. He's kind of an asshole. And, and, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he talks. I do remember that, he yeah. He talks real slow. And it's very, you're just hanging on every word. You're like, hey, man, can you just complete one sentence? And uh, he was like, hey, he kept trying to accuse me of racist and then be my mm-hmm. friend and then race it. And he was like. I didn't enjoy the experience. And he goes, I don't have a problem with people coming after me because it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. I just didn't like the manner in which he did it and like how he thought of himself. Right. So Drinking Bros airs with Alex Jones. Um, two weeks later, the TI interview airs with Alex Jones. Mm-hmm. And it was fucking weird. And I was like, man, this is not your venue. Right? Yeah. You should not be doing this. Right. Then this pops up where he goes on someone else's podcast and you can tell the audience what happened here because it was with two women. I don't was, know the name of their show, but I listened to the segment. Did you? Yeah. Okay. So I listened to the segment in question, which is very short, but um, he went on. Per, da, 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 he, he went on some these two girls' two podcasts girls. again. Doesn't really matter. It's no. kind of like I'm not sure why he even went on these. No, people? well, because he's trying to promote his own show. Right, but I've never heard of these people. Anyways, um, so he starts talking about his daughter and how he uh, knows that she is still a virgin because he checks her hymen every yes. year. And I thought when I heard this story that it was a joke. And then mm-hmm. I played the clip. It was a long clip. And he says, no. I, and then he described the entire process of taking her into the doctor. So when, he go, when she goes to her gyno, mm-hmm. he said, he goes with her. She is 18? Now. Now. So yeah. up until now, if you can imagine your dad, ladies, for the few ladies that listen, if you can imagine your dad going into your gynecologist when you're 16 or 17 with you mm-hmm. and asking the doctor to check your hymen and let him know if it's still intact, first of all, you're completely naive about how sex works, but um, it's mortifying, and he is just so gross and stupid. I've never been able to handle it, and now I'm done even trying to 
entertain pretend, it. Okay. Entertain the fact that he is still. Why is he even in my fucking face at all? Yeah. I, look, so the daughter has unfollowed uh, him and the family because of it. I mean, mortifying that like. Yeah. She's not doing a podcast. No. She's not out there in the. No. You know what I mean? And you have just put her on disgusting, inappropriate, awful blast. Yeah. So, because you're country and stupid and an idiot. Yeah. A disgusting idiot. There's something really, really gross about that whole thing, and I'm done. I, I was already done with T.I. last year, a year ago probably. Um, but why? Just because he was like, meh? No. Or because you were pissed at him for something? Yes. It started with the Kaepernick shit. Um, he was oh, very okay. vocal about that. Right, right, and right. And then all of a sudden, Jay-Z signs on with the NFL, and then he changes his tune. It was just like... Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. it, not, none of it's fucking real. Ti's about himself and about the money, and uh, he made some comments about Kanye that I didn't enjoy. Um, and he made some comments about Trump I didn't enjoy. Right, uh, just a bunch of people, and it was just like, hey man, you're probably the last one to to throw stones at this point. Um, and I was done with him probably a year year and a half ago. And like you said, you know about the relevancy thing. If you're dropping bangers. Nobody Look. really gives a shit, right? Marry a fucking child molester. Do whatever you want. Murderer. Yeah. You're fine. Do whatever you want. Um, but you, you're not. You're not doing anything these days. And like, I guess he considers himself the pseudo intellectual. And like, if you watch mm -mm. his interviews, they're very slow and stilted. And it's just like, no. I, I don't know whether he's high or what's going on. But um, no, I was already done with T.I. This confirmed it i think for the rest of everyone else i would and, and hope. this is all this is all a hole right now for women i would imagine and you can tell me otherwise that is too big to dig out of at this point if you're really good like any by all means if you listen to this interview you really did this for what two or three years it sounded oh like. yeah and finds nothing wrong with it laughing about it is com blatant disregard to what it might be doing to his daughter and his i mean so we're done. Yeah, we're all done with T.I. We're done. And I think it's because I was already like annoyed and I think he's stupid and country and an idiot. And I don't know why <laughs> anyone ever listened to him. But, you know, look, back in the day, man, he used to drop hits and he was on fire for years, man. Uh, ended up going to jail and then ran into some issues, but uh, a lot of issues. But. You know, uh, people change, life changes, and that's, mm -hmm. that's what it is. And, mm -hmm. you know, he's not dropping bangers anymore, so I don't give a shit. Now, if he came out with a hot album. You'd listen to it? If it was fucking fire, dude, 12 tracks of fire, I probably would. Um, so, just being real. If he dropped a, if, again, talent supersedes everything. If he dropped a fucking banger of an album, people would, would not give a shit. But I don't see that happening. There's a there's just a certain point. And to anyone that doesn't that understand switch. this, uh, because of whatever you don't have daughters or wives or girlfriends or anything like, yeah. uh, this is insanely inappropriate and cringy and gross. Yeah, because I remember this is so controlling and ridiculous with you and I when we first made love. I said, "Hey, um, this I'm 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 taking your virginity right." And you said yes. Right. I did not take you. I didn't need to take you to a gynecologist. No. You I believed didn't. you in your heart. Mm -hmm. um, and then everything you told me. So. And then you were like, oh, shit. Yeah. How do you know? Yeah. Yeah. So when you told me that's all I needed was your right. assurance and your love saying, Ross, I have been saving myself and waiting for someone like you to come along. Right. And squire my virginity from my body. And, um, hmm. and I believed you, Jesse. Hmm. So T.I. Well, should probably sit down with his daughter and believe her and just had a conversation instead of taking her into a gynecologist year after year after year. You win some, you lose some, but also... <laughs> what do we lose? You with that whole rant. But anyway... Jesse. I don't know, but you try, you know what I mean? You try stuff, you throw <laughs> it out there, and nobody's going to fault you for that. You know what I mean? We want you to keep trying all this stuff. <laughs> I don't want to ever, like crush your spirit or your you know what i mean like be controlling of you in any way but yeah. i'm literally just saying it's a fact that you win some you lose some. <laughs> but hey so, you know we're just we 
workshop in here. You know what I mean? We're just like trying stuff Am out. It's not completely incorrect in assuming that I did take your virginity then. Um, <sighs> okay. All right. Thought I'd ask. It's just so gross. Thought I'd ask. I mean, I even you. him, him even. I know the whole thing's fucked up. It's just it, so. It, it's crazy. Gross. It's crazy. And I, I you I, can break again. your hymen like most girls. Like I was saying, he doesn't understand how uh, sex works, right? Sure. So you can have sex without breaking it. And then you can also, most girls like break their hymen like on a bike or they fall or like when they're younger. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I'll take your word for it. I'm not, I'm not again, I'm not a doctor. I have no idea. I, I have no idea. Right. Um, it sounded so implausible when he said that on the fucking thing that I was like, this can't be real. Yeah. So. Yeah. And again, I'm not a girl or a woman, nor would I attempt to be, because I would imagine you could also do it masturbating. Uh, yeah. I mean, with certain things. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a dildo or something else yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, what are you going to say? Very that, what, thin, what are you going to say then? Yeah. Yeah. It's a very thin layer of me- membrane okay very thin it can be broken like very very easily Yeesh. i don't even know if i want to hear that um exactly and that's the thing you shouldn't be hearing it no. ti shouldn't be hearing it about shouldn't. his daughter like he should be like dude please just tell me like you're being safe i don't want you you know like there's certain ways of being a strict it's that that's the other thing i want to say like i'm not saying it that you shouldn't be strict and be asking questions and you know if you want if it, if it's important to you that your daughter is a virgin until 18 or doesn't have sex until da 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 like that's fine but there are certain there are ways there are rules if they break them fine but going into the gynecologist with your daughter right and asking the doctor to check and report back to you yeah it's a lot gross anyways it's really gross Really, really gross, Jesse. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna explain life to you. No, I know you're not. Okay. I know you're not. It's, you've been standing up for a lot of women today, though. Dwarves. Uh, but I'm going against hymens, the mom. Girls, hymens. You've been standing up for a lot of women today, and that's nice. I've been standing that's up nice. for. I feel women, bad. You've been empowering women all day today. I feel bad for how hard I went <laughs> on this dwarf. This poor. Girl. Oh, Jesse. This young. There's just one. 16 year old. Wasn't like there was seven of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See? Last but not least. And I want you to keep trying stuff like that. Of course. Because that one was good. <laughs> you know what I mean? The other one, bad. Well, we'll right? Let, we'll so let it's the, like, bad. This one, good. And we'll please just keep throwing them out there. Please. We'll let the 1.8 we, million judge. We like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll let the 1.8 million judge. Yeah. Uh, last but not least here, um, this is breaking news. Uh, Ricky Gervais is back as the Golden Globes host. I love him so much. Yes. He makes me laugh every single time I see him. He went so hard in his last special that he said, so here's his exact words for this. He goes, look, this is the very last time I'm going to do this. Therefore, expect to have an extremely fun evening. Oof. <laughs> That is all I need to hear. That is all. That Especially is Especially with everything that's going on now. Uh, 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 I will perfect. be front center. Mm. Why is it a circus? But anyways, I guess it is. I don't know, but maybe we should live watch this with the audience because if you don't like Hollywood, well, you finally got a guy that doesn't either. Who doesn't really give a shit. So I would uh, love to do this. Yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Um, and he's saying, look, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse with a wink. So apparently, they paid a lot of oh, money. Oh, and him, him, and Jerry Seinfeld are very good at being rich, rich, and yeah. being honest about yeah, how yeah. fucking rich they are. I would too. If somebody being backed up the truck for me and be like, hey, it. man, somebody just gave me fucking five million for this show. So, therefore, I'm going to do whatever I want, and uh, everybody else can get fucked. 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 Get fucked.
Um, <laughs> Gosh, our songs are really great today. Well, everybody's asking for "Damn It, Bob." I've been so busy with Said all this. Said no sh- one ever. Uh, everyone, everyone <laughs> wants "Damn It, Bob." It's so fucking busy that I, I miss doing sketches and things like that. But like doing seven shows a week has been been a. Uh, it's a challenge. You're not complaining. I'm not at all. Um, but I. I I've not been able to get to damn it, Bob. So I, I apologize. I will. Don't apologize to me. I will get that. I will get that. Damn it, Bob. Damn it. Do not apologize to me because damn I did it. not ask for it. Damn it, Bob. Um, we'll get to the revolu- re- revolution if you get today. Um, we're going to give this to Bob Ross today. Uh, for damn it, Bob. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, Bob. We're going with a. I'm going with a Bob Ross. Ross. Uh, cover. We're going with a new logo. Like I said, next week is going to drop. Um, it was inspired partly by Bob Ross. Oh, I thought it was okay. And because uh, some uh, some other seventies musicians, but okay, the, you'll uh, get it when you see it. You get it when you see it. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, that look and that thing, like I pitched someone else, and he was like, "Well, how about Bob Ross, our our guy who makes all of our shit? Yeah, how about uh, Bob Ross mixed with like a Garfunkel and uh, yeah." Mm-hmm. Um, so we're doing it. Hollow notes. Hollow notes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Um, well, I guess Garfunkel too, huh? Well, yeah, yeah. Old school Garf. I I think it was old school Garfunkel that had that too, right? Yeah, he definitely had that. Um, hair, is he still alive? which we won't. Yeah. Oh uh, yes, it is. It, yeah, I was right. It was Garfunkel. Uh, yes, it's a very similar, very similar style. So um, we're going with something like that. But uh, it's amazing when with that much hair that he is this bald now. Fuck, man. It's a B. He's got a fucking B ring now, dude. Bozo ring. Getting that B ring rung up. What, Jesse? Nothing. Uh, Still that B ring rung okay. up. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Jesse. Leave me all right. alone. <laughs> Jesse. Um, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Subscribe on YouTube. Go to Drinking Bros Podcast. We're... All in on them right now. So join us, live it, love it, watch us, Traeger, Smoker. Good night, everyone. Good night.